leave it all behind you I said take down everything that stands in your way Don't stop believing it'll work out again My friend, stand out and be a part of everything good Wake up, you're gonna be all that you should Try out all the things you always wanted to be Hey! Every now and then I have to make a video like this. And anytime I have, for some strange reason, a, a, a surge of new subscribers, and all I can think is it must be the anti Islam posts that I've been putting up, the anti Islam videos, uh, I have to end up making this kind of a video for the new subscribers. I got a note today from somebody named Gerald T, who writes, Deity Free D, why do you feel the need to mock God? I thought better of you than that up until now, but not anymore. I wrote Gerald T back, I don't care what you thought of me up until now. You cannot mock what is imaginary or does not exist. Which god have I mocked, anyway? Zeus, Thor, Apollo, Pan, Attis, Osiris, Hercules, Mithras, Ra? There are so many. I don't recall mocking anything real lately, except Islam. So yeah, newsflash. In case this isn't obvious to people who have started watching my channel, I am an atheist. I don't think gods exist. And I have nothing but contempt for the patriarchal cults, Islam and Christianity. I was a Christian for over 35 years of my life. It destroyed my self-esteem. It made it impossible for me to love myself. And I will not continue this list of, oh, poor me, poor me, whatevers. The point is, it's false, and it's a lie, and it's a harmful deception in the world. I don't really see Christianity as being that much superior to Islam. It's just a little bit more of a grown-up than Islam. But it still targets the innocent. Christianity used to, when I was younger, go after middle um, I'm sorry, I was thinking I came out wrong. We used to go after third world countries. And mission missions would go out and set up camps and try to help poor villages and teach them how to um, grow crops better. And uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the word and it's not coming to me. Um, hydrate the 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 crops come up with ways to get water to irrigation. That's what the word was. Um, show them ways that they can irrigate <laughs> their crops or bring water more easily to the village. But there would be a price. The price would be that the, the villagers would have to be okay with sitting there and listening to them preach about Jesus and they would try to witness to the villagers. That was then. This is now. Now Christians target little kids, and they go to public schools. Uh, public schools can't legally let them be in the curriculum. So you have things like the Good News Club that attaches to after-school programs at public schools. And for older children, you have hell houses. An alternative to haunted houses. And the point of these places is to scare children into believing. See, I find these things vulgar, vile, evil. And I won't even say what I think of Jesus camp, which I, I worked at a Bible camp for several years and it was nothing like what I've seen the clips of Jesus camp. <laughs> 
nothing like that but it, it it also did its its what it needed to do i was indoctrinated i still to this day have christian songs that <clears throat> run through my head every day every single day i have songs run through my head because they were loved i loved the songs they reminded me of this wonderful place that was like this little island of happiness in my otherwise rather difficult childhood that's what this bible camp was when i was a kid and when i went to work there it was more of the same i just i i really loved it. that was like the place on the earth that was like this little sheltered area free of being ridiculed and free of you know all the bad things it was it was like stained glass windows of a church only extended because the bible camp was really big but anyway the point is i was a christian and i don't particularly like being lied to so i have a lot of anger toward christianity i don't like being lied to and Gerald T. just considers it a given that a God exists and that I could actually mock this God. He doesn't mention what God, but I'm assuming he means the biblical God because that's what they always mean. And there's no, there's no evidence. Nobody has produced evidence to show gods exist at all. So how can I mock something that doesn't exist? And why is this God below or above I should say why is he above being mocked I'm sorry if he did exist he has earned mockery he has earned contempt just as much as I think Islam has earned contempt so has this God of the Bible read the Bible read the Old Testament Jesus oh everything is better because Jesus exists well Jesus is supposedly God right so I don't care how goody-goody Jesus is in the New Testament. Incidentally, I don't think Jesus ever existed at all. If he's God, then he has the stains of blood all over him from all the crimes he committed in the Old Testament. And they are significant. What par Partially what made me an atheist was I read the Bible. Not like I had in the past. Little snippets carefully directed there to these little snippets by... A pastor or a, a Bible study instructor I read the whole Bible not just those little snippets and I didn't have some learned Bible scholar telling me how I should interpret the Bible as I was reading it either carefully making sure that I think the right thoughts I only had my own mind looking at it and it was like the first time I really saw what I was reading Read the whole Bible front to back. That right there can topple your faith. If Jesus is God, then Jesus has all the crimes of humanity on his hands. He's not, he's no more wonderful than the God of the Old Testament. And never does he ever in the New Testament say that anything the God of the Old Testament did is wrong or bad or shameful or criminal. So yeah, I, um, I'm an atheist. I do not agree with cults that try to make these claims without bothering to produce any evidence to support their claims. I don't like cults that deceive people into believing things that are not true. I don't like cults that say that you are born flawed and deserving of eternal torture unless you jump through a bunch of hoops. I don't like cults that tell people they can't be good or strong without this crutch. I don't like cults that tell people who are addicts, oh, give up this addiction and take this one on instead. The addiction of religion. So yeah, I don't support Christianity either, and I don't believe gods exist, any gods. And I am an atheist, and if you... <laughs> If you look at my name, Deity Free D, that should be a huge clue that I'm an atheist. Why would you think that I would have any nice things to say about your God? So hey, if you've subscribed to my channel in error thinking that I was just a anti-Muslim person 
or anti-Islam or anti-Sharia law person. No. I have a lot of things that I feel strongly about, and not even just religion. I post a lot of a lot of variety on my channel. I try to. Um, I feel strongly about the environment. I feel strongly about animals that are going extinct. I feel strongly about habitats that have been wiped out and human overpopulation and what a problem it is and women's rights and just finding meaning in your life every day, appreciating the small things, learning to not let your thoughts control you or your, your mood so much. I feel strongly about the stigma that exists against people with mental illness or depression. I have a lot of interest in a lot of things I feel strongly about and that's what I post on my on my channel. Not just anti-Islam posts. That's just recent because I got really angry. I got really angry when we saw the, um, the poor pilot in the cage burning to death. I still feel rage when I think about that. And I realize what an evil this is, this cult is. It's not so much that a group of extremists did this to another human being. It's that Muslims looked at the footage of this and smiled. They looked at somebody burning to death and smiled. That and the fact that I have seen too many clips where I've heard Muslims say that they want to establish Islam everywhere. I'm sorry, but you do not have the right to squash out somebody else's culture. So that's something I feel strongly about too. And, and that's why there's a, re a recent flood of anti-Islam uh, videos on my channel. I think people need to be aware of a, what a threat this is. And, and so I'm posting about it. But that doesn't change what I am and what I am as an atheist. And I will mock your God because he has deserved and earned mockery. And he doesn't even exist either. That's the other thing. If your God did exist, I think he's big enough that he can defend himself. He doesn't need a little peon like you to defend him. And if everything is according to his divine plan, then my mocking him is also part of his divine plan. And who are you to question God? For that matter, my being an atheist is part of his divine plan. I was meant to fall in my beliefs, to, to, to have my beliefs shatter in my middle 40s. That was all supposed to happen. All according to his plan. I'm destined to hell, and that's part of his perfect divine plan. Anyway, I didn't want this to get too long. I just wanted to clarify to my new subscribers that I am an atheist. I do not support Christianity any more than I support Islam. And I want to make that very clear. And if I lose some subscribers, I'd rather lose you than have you think I'm something that I'm not. So anyway, if you've been watching, thanks. Bye. I am... Uh absolutely convinced that the main source of hatred in the world is religion. And I think it should be re religion treated with ridicule and hatred and contempt.